death though. Seconds left, you're good. Discord one isn't working. Oh yeah, that's right. So I can bring it to Discord too. But it's one of the other specific ones. No, the thing uh, it disconnected. Unfortunately, the um, I have to set it up again one more time. I'm gonna take like a, a couple day break after I do all this Diablo stuff. I'm gonna go close here. <clears throat> Hello everybody, welcome to me, Random Razor Game, with, uh, no, no, let me start that again. Welcome to this Random Razor Game with me, Random Razor. Er, let's start that over again, right? So no, um, um, we're just doing some more Diablo today, because I don't know how much time I got left. And what I want to do is set up a bunch of stuff after that, basically. Like, as soon as I'm done with, like, doing the episodes with Diablo and everything like that, I'm going to jump back into, like, uh, the command things and, like, the OBS Studio and like uh, turn on some different things with the uh, the Apps Manager, CloudBot, and a whole bunch of other things. Like change some settings around and everything like that, basically, so that it looks better, and it sounds better, and everything's you know working better, basically. So it's all coming together. It's all coming together. So good morning, everybody. Well, uh, welcome in, and uh, thanks for joining me, Random Razor, for this random game, Diablo Grinded at Twenty. Basically, I want to I want to get the uh, the bonus for that, and do a little bit more on the Sorcerer, and then use the rest of the time, basically to uh, keep going with my hardcore um, uh, druid because I couldn't help it. I had to start up for another one. So I got him up to like level six or eight now. He's uh, close to where the other guy was. I'm gonna die back in again. And this time I will not die. I'm gonna keep this hardcore druid going until I get to level 20 at least. I think I can only do it with one character to get the actual bonus thing, but I'm gonna do it again anyway. That's like my goal, basically. But anyway, back into this. Oh, I needed to do this part first. I need to pin this. Let me do, where is it? Uh, Discord too, why not? And I jump right in the game because let's see, I go to the game on the left here. We are pretty much set up here. I really like how this is uh, coming together. Let's give you a look at what I'm doing here. Go in here, so I'm not hanging out in the middle of nowhere. Whoa, come on. You can make it into the store, into the store. There we go. And then, that's what I'm working with right now. So I gotta sell some junk. I need to figure out whether or not to keep some of this, put it in the chest, and move some stuff around, basically. So, right now, though, what we're gonna do is go in here. Make sure that's all set up. Go in here and transfer over this Discord. Invite people. Copy that. Put that in. Oop, not that one. There we go. Go to the stream manager. It's nice. Then we'll put this in here. Discord. And we'll go into the game here. Boom. Go into my social, add a friend, and my thing is 11865. 865. 
that one away. Six five. Six five. Perfect. I'll pin that one. Yeah, join in everybody. Let's get in there and do some Diablo together. I can shut this down. I can shut this down. Here, you can cancel that. I can go here. Minimize this. Here. Get this all set up one more time. It seems like it's working better with this minimized. Drop in my chat box. Bingo. Cool. Now, hopefully, I'll be able to keep track of everything going on. I might even want to put this thing right down in the center, maybe. No, because then it won't go up. Oh, if I can do that, if I can reverse the chat direction. Ooh, that's a good idea. So I make it so the chat feeds from the top down instead of the bottom up. And I'll be able to put it at the bottom here. It's pretty smart, actually. Okay, now, hey, hi, Gandalf. Greetings. Let's go over here to my chest. Where is it? I'm, I'm just keeping this up. Pretty much all the rare stuff I got so far, because I just found out you can uh, disassemble things for other rare junk. So we wanted to start doing that. Just gathering up the materials, basically. And plus, I can share stuff across different characters as well. And my basic plan today is just to grab whatever quest comes up. If uh, a timed thing comes up, I'm going to try to get to it. A, uh, call it a, um, event comes up, I'm going to try to get that. Everything. Go to the blue quest, go to the orange quest, go to everywhere. Oh, this one adds strength. And five to all stats, and it's got an empty socket. This one adds intelligence. And it does the Hydra thing. I really like the Hydra. So, I'm not going to use this one right now. Probably going to regret it, but I'm not going to use it. <laughs> Distinguished. This one, let's see. Cool down, healing received. Second. Very fast weapon. We'll this one. Strike. Nine to strength. Nine to dexterity. Ooh, so this one will definitely help me a lot for my up and personal close attacks. Gun reduction, no, a lot of cool gun reduction on that one. It's only plus two damage per second. I think I'm under this one for now. I like this one too, because it also has the chain lightning additional thing. But this one has the thorns damage. That's going to be the biggest choice right there, that one there. Close enemies, of course, still in damage. I'm still doing what the legendary power, power ones are better. That in there. Okay. Same thing. Good damage, but. <clears throat> That one's socketed too, huh? Cliff Rod. Vulnerable damage. Ooh, vulnerable damage is good because I do a lot of vulnerable damage stuff. It's 41% better, but no. The epic one's still better. Look. Ooh, this one adds meteor too. See, this is the one that adds? No. I have a different one that adds meteor somewhere. I'll keep that. Fire damage over time. Stats. Ooh, 10 to strength though. There it is, 78. That one does seem a lot better. Just losing that one bit of fire damage over time. All right. Oops, back here. So I want to put these down here, the pummel ones. I'm going to use those perhaps later. Okay. 
Ooh, and this one adds to fireball, huh? Yeah. Incinerate fireball. Set fireball. Dexterity and three all stats. Thank you. This one's actually even better than that one. And this one's even better than that one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, so I'll do this one. I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna incinerate anyway. That's also reducing the amount of stuff we gotta put up here, so I'm not I'm not sad about that. Selling it, selling it. So I'm still deciding whether I'm gonna use it instead of that one basically. So for now two. Damage reduction. Nine plus more their powers instead. Same thing. I like that bonus though. So let's do that. So I just lose the poison resistance. Ooh, that one's got a lot more shadow and poison resistance though. Fire lightning. Shadow. I want to keep that life on kill though. Okay. This guy. Damn. Time. We like the one we got. Plus one rank to all mastery skills. And conjuration skills. And it's got a socket. Only thing I'm losing out is the extra time. Shh. Is the cat over there digging the window again? Let's do this one. It's the first time I get a chance to use. Bonus rank for all those things. Some higher skills to use. Okay, and then some of this stuff in there. Okay, so now, finally. This goes in there, this goes in there, this goes in there. I kind of want to keep the ring. I'm going to use those for other characters. Same thing with the amulets. I wonder if these amulets can actually go to other people. Sell that junk. Alright. Sort this stuff over here. Okay. <clears throat> Got a couple amethysts. Amulets. So what is it? Resistance. Poison resistance. Fire resistance. Lightning. It's cold resistance. Resistance to all elements. Hmm. Well, I got the one diamond. Skill damage. Barrier generation. Barrier generation I do like, though. Alright, so for now I'm actually gonna put nothing in it. I'm still gonna wait. Looking good. I like that cool knife thing. Yeah, tell me that's not the Prince of Persia right there. Cool. Let's go out there and do some actual grinding now. Now we're, we're empty of our thing, except for this is what I'm saving and not selling. Check out my skill stuff over there. For the light. Sell it, sell it, sell well, it, sell rock. it, sell it, sell it. 14,000 here. Uh, upgrade. Yeah. If I was going to upgrade anything, it would be this guy. Let's see. 5,000? Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> Boots too, maybe? Oh, you're getting way more rare. 
rare stuff. Same thing. More rare stuff. More rare stuff. This one only has better damage, better vulnerable damage, plot to intelligence, basic skill, crowd control enemies, and thorn damage dealt. I lose the critical strike to distant enemies, seven to all stats, and the cooldown reduction a legendary power. Chain lightning, which I really like. So I think I'm going to keep that one for now. Let's go grab some of these keys. Got a ton of things, yeah, 390. I found one of those whisper key things out there, but I, I left it and lost it. Take a chance, wanderer. Two of those, okay, that's enough. Get any. Yeah, the armor. This is, this is just like randomly might be something good, right? That's the whole idea from this. Hmm, not much, is it? It's always nothing. What is the point of these things? Lost? Um, I think I saw like the first couple episodes of it. But when I started watching it, it was after this, like, the whole hype of this, the, all the seasons and everything that was already going on. By the way, hi Ari. Like, um, it was, it was such a big thing by then. Everybody was, like, arguing over what was going on, whether this was real, whether that part was real, whether these things were happening, yada, yada, yada. And so, like, when I first started getting into it, there was so much, like, extra story going on outside of the story that I, I just couldn't get involved, basically. I liked the, uh, I liked the, the, the episodes that I saw. The characters are good, the thing was good, but... I just couldn't get into the story because there was just so much of the story out in the air. I felt like, I don't know, I like, it was just too, too ephemeral. <laughs> like, I didn't know what was going to happen. <laughs> I don't know if I wanted to get involved in it yet because it was going to turn out to be a really stupid twist at the end. <laughs> like, what? They're actually all dead and it's just a fake version of heaven or something like that? Whatever. <laughs> it's very convoluted. I like, uh, not necessarily defined storylines, but things with, like, you know, uh, a definite structure so that just the idea that well maybe they're changing it and maybe it could be this and maybe it could be that or maybe it's nothing maybe they really aren't going to do anything and they're just you know just letting them to be whatever they want it to be and not and never actually explaining anything that's like the exact opposite of what i would like i want things to be explained i want there to be reasons for the thing i want there to be cause for the event i want you know so eventually they have they have to tell me all the backstory so it seemed like in that show they were literally Intentionally avoiding backstory and, and, and making things intentionally obscure and intentionally unexplainable. So I was like, it's kind of a cheap shot. <laughs> That's the twist. <laughs> so are they all dead? Is it really like they're all in a, in a computer program and it's all a test or something like that? I can't remember. I don't remember all the theories. Like I said, I didn't watch a lot of it. A couple episodes, but they were good. They were good. Maybe I'll start watching it again. Who knows? Who knows? Now, let's look at the map and see where I'm actually going. I started going out this direction. Yeah, one of these things, I think. So, Druid only. Your only. Rogue only, of course. It's Ricky. There was one over here that said Sorcerer. Barbarians only. Come on, show some love for your Sorcerers. <laughs> I do have a quest over there, the sealed door one. It's this. And the Legacy of the Magi. Okay, okay, so let's jump in this and go down here real quick. Get in the, go in the town portal. This way. You think I should watch it though? You think it's a good enough show to, to actually try to, you know, see through to the end and see all the twists and turns that they take on it? Surprise, they suddenly got quiet. Oh, I got gotcha. you. 
So you wanted to know whether or not you were headed in the right direction, basically. <laughs> two weeks. I think it'll take you two weeks to grind through it. How many seasons are there? No, it was that long. Six seasons, huh? So yeah, that's, that's a good amount of time to be have to grind through. <clears throat> the survivor. What's up, dude? You stay under there. I'll take care of him. Don't worry. Change my skills. Maybe something else I can be using in that cat. Jeez, cats, what are you doing? I've seen the, the bigger gems. <laughs> All right, dude. Lady, whatever you are. Hold on a second. the mom chasing around the daughter. That was the most vicious uh, roundabout I've ever heard, so I, I put her in the other room for the moment. Let's see here. Yes. Yes, without a doubt, this is the Forgotten Codex. Finally, I'm bound by my I word. I am bound by my word. You shall know the magic secrets contained in this book. Thank you. We will work together. Come. I have prepared for this ritual. Prepared for a ritual? Enter the abandoned shack. I don't know. Don't want to event, um, enter this abandoned shack with this ritual guy? Before there was, what was it, a, a tainted uh, shack? And it said inspect. I was like, yes, I want to inter, I don't know, and interact. Is it interact with this tainted shack? I was like, yes, let's interact with that. <laughs> of course, if you come along the way and you find a, a tainted shack, you're going to want to interact with that, aren't you? <laughs> Let me get these incantations sorted properly. Would you be so kind as to light the elemental braziers? Sure, I suppose so. That sounds innocent enough. Let's, let's go over here and see if there's any breakable stuff first. <laughs> ah. Oh man, there's nothing breakable in this room. Looks like I can smash everything. It's because of the little quest area. What's going on, dude? Great. Actually, this is pretty cool. It's kind of like the tattoos I got like, around my arms and stuff. Setup you got here, dude. Break your stuff. 
I check. Just that. Oh. I read this book. Hey, it's actually got a bed. <laughs> Don't let the blanket touch the floor. Okay, let's see what we've got over here. Lighting braziers. Tides of water, hear us. Blue, gotcha. Gales of air, hear us. Ooh, can I jump on the bed? No. Teleport onto it? I did! <laughs> I can jump on the bed. See, look, you can't actually get into it. <laughs> the bed is actually not a thing. But watch, watch. I can totally jump on the bed. Ready? 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 Ha ha! <laughs> I can jump on the bed. <laughs> Teleport. Sparks of fire, hear us. Hear us, sparks of fire. Peaks of earth. Peaks of earth, hear us. We call upon your rocky nature. Now we've talked to the traveling sorcerer and everything will do fine, right? Hmm. Looks like some of these pages are damaged. Uh oh. No matter. I, I don't want you to infer no meaning from context when you're not in the middle of the spell circle. You do it over there. I refuse to let caution keep me from the secrets of this book. He's going to cause some bad stuff to happen, and I'm going to have to kill it. Oh, I know it. Great powers of the elemental forces. The guardians of the hidden of gates. gates. Uh-oh. See? He's going to summon some guardians. I'm going to have to kill the guardians. Dude, better say it right. That should do it. You have to take a firm hand with these spirits. Hubris. Something is wrong. No kidding. No. Said it wrong, dude. Dork. Accidentally helped, it, helped open the hole in hell. Just what I was afraid of. Got enough holes into hell. Oh, I over here. Dude, don't just stand there. Come on. Get to, get to seal in the hole. Get some super glue or something. Wipe off these marks on the floor. Get a broom. Jeez. Put out the flaming ones at least. There, finally. Sheesh. It's a spell. Traveling sorcerer. I... I don't know what to say. I'm certain my interpolations were correct. Or at least in the spirit of the original. Spirit of the original. All this wasted effort. Perhaps my translation of the book was incorrect. I'm going back to Kuras to start. Ah, he's going back to Kuras. That's cool. Kuras is from the other I game. I think it's best if I leave the book with you. Consider it thanks for your help. Hey, thanks. It better be something neat. Legacy of the Maid. I. Well, it is. It's like an extra cool book that I can use as my, as my weaponry. Okay. What am I settling? So settle a debate for me, will you? I am watching Lost, and I'm on the first season where we all know that there's a plane crash, and someone, John, comes along and tells me at the very end that uh, they reveal it's all a dream. Is that a spoiler? Okay. I don't know. If he knew that you weren't, that you'd never seen it before, if he knew that, like, uh, basically, that you didn't have that information, if you, like, if you announced, hey, I'm watching Lost, and I've never seen it before, and, uh, don't tell me the endings, and he came and told you the ending, then yeah, that's a spoiler. But Lost has been out for a long enough time, and like I said, it was so big in the world, and in, the, in like, the discussion of things, it's like, it's like saying, hey, you know, the Titanic sank. It's like... You might not realize that the other person might not know that just because of how much in the realm of the world it was. Like I said, I knew that. I, I knew that like it was a dream, or it was a, it was a uh, it's a computer program, or it's a um, I, I knew all those possibilities, but I didn't ever, I never watched the show through, so never none of those possibilities have any weight in my mind. So I didn't care. So just because he told you that one of the possible possibilities of all the twists is a dream, so what? That doesn't change anything for the story for you. Oh. She has seen it before. I'm, 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 I mean to like take sides in a heated debate here. Sorry about that, John. <laughs> so 
So, I don't know if I can settle this debate then, because basically, that's misinformation, possible, you know, uh, conflicting things. So yeah, it's both. It's it's both a spoiler and it's both not a spoiler, you know? It's it's both, because if he knew, or if you told him, but you didn't know, but you're probably aware of it as being like, you know, a bunch of different twisty things, I think you should just do it like this. Forget about it either way. He wasn't trying, to, I don't think he was trying to spoil it for you. I don't think he was trying to like ruin your day. So, the, um, just take the, uh, the the knowledge that there is a possibility that it's a dream is one of the other 50,000 possibilities that they're going to explain throughout the show and just keep watching it. Just uh, just watch it at the end and see whether or not you think that that interpretation of it's, it's a dream is the, the most correct one. Because I know that there's, you know, there's so, so many different debates about all many things. Like, like the Matrix. Take the Matrix. How many different ways, like, supposedly the Matrix means this and supposedly the Matrix means that and everything like that. And who's actually right? Who, who explains it? The person that actually made the movie, right? The person that actually wrote the story. So if the people that wrote the story of Lost intentionally made it confusing and twisty and, and like, and like un, uh, un, uninterpret un, un, uninterpretable, then... Just go with it, you know. Just watch the rest of it, enjoy the twists. You know what I mean. Uh, just know that there's that it's it's all fake anyway. <laughs> they know that it's going to be a weird, twisty thing. That they're not on a real island. That it is some kind of you know crazy psychological twisty game. So just enjoy it for what it is. That's a, that's my advice. Speaking of which, I'll take some of my own advice. And remember, don't smoke tobacco. It sucks. So it's really close. Really close not to quitting. Oh yeah, let's see what they actually gave me. Ooh, the Forgotten Codex. Lucky hit chance, mana, seven to willpower. Ooh, and it's got a socket too. Mana cost. I like the mana cost reduction and the willpower. Let's use the the combination I got so far just to see what I get. And I got a bunch of cool stuff to get more already. All right, onwards, onwards. I'm trying to get to level twenty here. What am I at? Level eighteen, almost nineteen. So I got one more level to go, basically. So that's what I'm trying to get to here. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not real. <laughs> so yeah, the 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 lost island isn't actually out there. I kind of feel that way sometimes about some of the stories. Like I really wish this place was real. I really wish this story actually was out there in the universe somewhere, so I could go visit this, these characters and be involved in their in their lives and stuff like that. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to ruin your day, Ari. And thanks for coming and joining me, Jumper. I really appreciate that. You know, uh, not, not Junper, but uh, Jumper was actually my first pet. It was a, a Dalmatian, fantastic dog, and uh, he would jump on the trampoline with me, and that's why I named him Jumper. You know, I was like, I don't know, five or six when I had this dog, and uh, he was a really fun dog. He would run around the backyard, because you, you know, that kind of big backyard cedar house, and it was, you know, mostly sand. There was like the garden area and like the other play area and the trampoline, stuff like that. But he liked to run because he was a Dalmatian. Dalmatians like to run. That's one of the things. That's why they always run along uh, like the fire uh, people and everything like that. But he would run top speed around the yard like a, a roadrunner style, basically making a tornado of uh, dust all around the, the entire uh, perimeter of the yard as fast as he could. Just run, 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 run. And then he would leap onto the trampoline and <laughs> jump down to the trampoline. At that point, I would usually jump on the trampoline with him and like tackle him and play with him and stuff like that. But he was a really fun dog, that Dalmatian. His name is Jumper. <laughs> but every time I see your name, that's what, that's what it makes me think of. He was a good dog. Let's see, where am I going here? Did I just dive into some random place here before I go back up here? No, because I actually have a quest I want to finish. Let's do the quest. Yeah, let's go up here. <clears throat> <coughs> Hello, Ray. Boy. 
find some gallo. Corpse bow just sitting here. I used to get like a random army of skeletons pass by, and it's uh, another player, another necromancer. That's a common sight now. I've seen necromancer coming, and there's just a, tro a troop of skeletons following behind them. Troop, 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 troop. <laughs> People love the necromancer, it's really overpowered in this game. It's the corpse explosion. That was the same way with Diablo 2. You could lay waste to like fields of people with the corpse explosion, basically. Reap, literally. Reaping. My favorite fantasy book? Oh, I didn't look up far enough in the thing. Um, honestly, my favorite fantasy book probably has to be the Mist series. It was the very first um, series of books I ever read, <clears throat> and it still holds a place in my heart just because of that. <coughs> Dang, where's my water? Once again, let me grab my water. <coughs> Mist series, M Y S T. And yes, that is Mist, like the game. The, the guys, uh, was it Rand and Robin Miller or, or Wingrove or something like that? I can't remember what the, actual, the guy's name is, the actual author of the book or the actual author of the game. But they actually uh, collabed with some other artists and uh, or, or writers and made... And made um, a book series off of it uh, called Mist, obviously. And the very first one was The Book of Atris. And that was kind of like the prequel leading into the story of the game itself, of the first game. And the other ones were, like, kind of in after... It, it, it describes it in the story, like, uh, how it actually happens. But they're really good. The, um, it has a really interesting storyline to it, <clears throat> really in-depth, you know, portrayal of the different characters that you see in the games themselves, and it really gives some really nice backstory, as well as, you know, enhancing on the, the actual dynamic of the game itself. Because I really like the whole idea, the, the idea of writing a book to uh, describe a universe that you could then travel to, basically, and uh, the, the language that you use, the descriptive quality of the language, basically, how good of a writer you are, determined the quality of the world that you created. But not created, but the, 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 the quality of the world you linked to, because that was the whole the thing. The idea of this being uh, an, an infinite universe of all these different options and all these different possibilities, places and things like that, that you could then describe perfectly and then link to with the, the proper linking book. So that would be my, my absolute favorite one. Oh, but it miss you. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like the same thing. I, I was talking about the the random army of uh, skeletons pops right next to me. It's like, um, it's kind of like a, a wormhole with no technology. It's a, a, teleport, a teleporter with, uh, it's like a, yeah, it's, it's like science and magic together. It's like a quantum teleporter using magical language. It's using magic spells. It's, it's really good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Went down the wrong tube, I guess. Okay, now, where are we? What are we doing? To this blue quest over here somewhere. And... Back it too? There we go. Cool. Ooh, and it wants me to go off into the, the empty area of tier two. Cool, let's do that. New zone. Before I do that, let's drop off this gold stuff so I'm not carrying it around for nothing. Go this way. Aww. I was going to use the lightning blast to teleport over here and do it quicker. I like being able to do that. Here. Drop this off. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. 
Am I going to hold on to the codex for now? I don't want to. Put that one at the bottom, so I know it's that one. That's pretty good. I like it. This one has the more critical strike. Let's see, cool. Urgh. Real difference is just a little bit less damage. Oh, I changed my mind. Keep this one. Until I put the until I get a better jam to put in that one. Sorry, I'm going back and forth so much on that. Wasting time deciding the smallest details. Really, I should just be getting out of here and get rid of the stuff. That's what I'm doing now. I've only got actually I don't know how much time I got left. Truthfully, what time is it now? Four o'clock in the morning. I don't know. Uh, what uh, how long I've got to be able to finish this last bit of level because eventually this free. Beta version is going to be uh, taken away from me, I think, but I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work. Random blue quest on the way, cool. Priest Marvy says, I'm ready. I shall leave Margrave at dawn. The journey will be long, but my faith is endless. Hey, I've seen this one before. Light, grant me safe passage to the monastery that I may better know your grace within its hallowed halls. Old faith. I did that with the other uh, character. But I'm in a different place, even. It showed up differently. Oh, cool. Look at the water. It looks even slushy, like it's with this, like full of snow and stuff. Cool. Good one. Action. What are you doing here? Do you see him too? The ghost. Of Kali, my son. When he was a boy, he was taken to the black. Maybe after the beta. Maybe after this he thing today. My every moment, calling to me, begging that I, I, I don't know how much more I can stand. Please, I, I'll pay you. End his torments. End my son's torments. See that, See that he's laid to rest. Got it, bro. Father, is that? No. Oh, is that him right no, there? No. No. It is. He's right there. You're dead. Father. Won't you come visit me? <laughs> no! They, they took you away for what you did. You, you... They took you away for what you did? Please visit. I'm waiting at the asylum. Oh. Be gone. Be gone! Please. Dun dun dun, he was a bad boy. Took him off at the asylum and he died and now his dad's all regretful. Now I gotta do something to appease the kid's pain or something? So dark. <clears throat> the Black when Asylum. Out what he did, they, they put him in irons. Did he do? And carried him off to the Black Asylum. It's the twist is the question. Years later, the asylum was abandoned. The lucky ones are said to have starved, <sighs> while the rest escaped their cells only to fight each other. Hey, sounds like a nice place. I'm probably gonna have to go clear all that out. Full of demons and uh, undead crazy people. Awesome. <laughs> uh oh, it's stuck. Oh, come on. It's it's stuck. It was oh, shoot. death. It's no wonder some refuse to pass on. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of leery about continuing this quest since it already, uh, you know, stopped a little bit. Right, let's see what happens. Was taken away for murdering her child oh, he killed my kid. What was that movie The Good Son? That was a, that was a weird movie. I saw it when I was, uh, that came out a long time ago. But it's called The Good Son. I'm not going to say it was a good movie. It was kind of intense, kind of interesting, strange, good drama. I didn't like it, but it was a good movie. I mean, it was a it was a well-made film, but I didn't like it that much. So I can't really say it was good. I didn't like it, but it was, you know, it was it was quality. How about that? Quality cinematography, but not my type of story. Oh yeah, the kid. He was a little, 
plan. He didn't really, you know, talk with any kind of inflection. I think he probably just was a kid, and he would just say, you know, kid, just, just act like you're a ghost, okay? Um, <laughs> soulless, exactly. <clears throat> Sealed box and green. Take the spirits of the restless dead and grant them peace in return. Hmm. Is it a usable item? Can I open it up, let the spirits out, and then fight them? <laughs> that seemed like the logical uh, thing to be happening here. <laughs> Out of manner. Well, that's the Black Asylum right there, huh? <clears throat> All right, it's right here. Let's do it. I'm not afraid of your crazy dead ghosts. You mean your crazy live ghosts? Crazy live ghosts are better than, I mean, way worse than the crazy dead ghosts. Ooh, that reminds me. I should actually look at my skills and see if I can change something there. That would be a good plot and plan. Alright, so let, let's stay away from these crazy live ghosts and the crazy dead ghosts just for a second and see what we got in here. So I've got one of each of all the master skills now. Neato. I still want to use this one because that one's up a little farther. Nova. Teleport is death. Up that one. Okay, it also gave me a fireball. Alright. So, definitely using this as my main attack. Yeah, because I got the other bonus stuff on that one, so it makes it better anyway. Chain lightning for the second one, like that. Alright, I got Q. Flame shield for Q. I like that. W is this guy. I like that. Cross Nova. Like that. So the only one I might switch off. Put on. This one maybe one of these two. Spear. It's war. Some of the frigid beard. Just try them all. I've done the meteor. Flames, it's good. I got that now. Firewall, ooh, firewall, I remember being a really powerful one. Try that one. Alright, so let's put on firewall instead of this thing for a bit and just see what we've got. And then, boxes full of parts. <laughs> Random junk. Beautiful. Fine, they get to break stuff again. It's a normal dungeon. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, I just want to say that I can't break it. <laughs> Missed. Oh yeah, I see. Starved to death in the cells. Easy. Yeah, these, these guys are very nice. These people. Cages hanging from the ceiling. Stupid crazy people. It's 
So I guess I'm trying to find this the guy's son's cell, wherever he died, I guess. That is the, uh, the eventual completion of this particular quest. I must release the son from his prison. Oh yeah, let's try that firewall. Can I do it this way? Oh yeah, that was that was that. It's not fire. Ignore that. I know what I know what button W is. So let's try firewall on these guys. Right here. Cool. Cast in a row. Nice. That's just what I want to be able to do. Block people in like that. And like that. And be able to do things like that. Oops. And be able to run away. <laughs> but honestly, I might. As much as. Or try to decide. Looks like I can do how many of these at the same time? You do a lot of continuous damage. I'm not ready yet. Alright, and it doesn't do anything. Alright, let's hold on to it for a bit. I was almost thinking of change back the other one, but kinda liking that. I can also put them this way, this way, and block myself in, you know. Cast a bunch of them at once, they don't take a lot of mana. Alright, on to this one. Because I like to get right into the center and block them off. Oh, we even pile up on top of each other. That's cool. That means I can make real air with an eye on things too. That means I can do like a crisscross thing across a single doorway. That would be cool. Oh, and I forgot to ask, how's everything looking and sounding and, and everything like that? Is the, the noise too low, or is my voice too high, or is the graphics too funky? It should be going pretty smooth. It, before when I was doing it like this, it was a little bit grainy still, like it would jump around a little bit. But now it seems like it's going much, much better, which I like a lot. Not a lot. Alright, so we wanted to do one of the fancy ones. Mobilize. Double when you're healthy. Or. Double chance. And I want to do this one first. Good, good. Thank you, thank you. I very much appreciate your input. See, the other day, it was messed up. All is well in Razor Land. Speaking of Razor Land. Um, the, um, the next thing I want to do after I'm done with all this Diablo demonic, demonic fighting is go back and do some more stuff on the uh, my creation in Minecraft. In uh, Kazmar land, Kazmarville. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's look, take a look at this. It's down. There we go. Oops. Hey, stop hitting me. Minecraft is always fun. <laughs> Maybe I'll switch this one to that key. That key is here. Yeah, in the, the side room there, I remember. That was my first introduction to um, like trying to share it with people. That literally was the first time I was like, you guys gotta check out this game, it's called Minecraft. <laughs> because the first people I got to tell, I had read a, an, an article about it, like it was there, just like some random gaming magazine that I picked up. In the back left corner of like uh, like a little blurb on the back of it, like just a side thing, like hey, there's this game called Minecraft. It's this thing that was made by this guy and some people like it. It was literally like a, a paragraph and a half about Minecraft. And uh, I went into it and I downloaded it and I fell in love instantly. And then literally like a week or two after that, it exploded. It was like the, the biggest thing on earth. And like everybody was after it, everybody was trying to do it. Like in the, the amount of time it took for me to tell you guys and to like get back home again was the amount of time it took for Minecraft to explode basically. It was just like the exact moment, it was perfect. <laughs> So you guys are really at the cusp of Minecraft. We were there when it really began. Like, cause I think I got one of the, the very first actual purchasable copies of it after it be, like was was actually purchasable, basically. Because it was actually downloadable as like a kind of like a shareware, freeware type of thing for a while. But it had it was very very limited. It was just basically just the blocks and just the digging. There was no uh, no tools, no. Um, uh, no, no trees or any animals or anything like that. Even it was just you and uh, the world. 
And but that was already, you know, super cool. And people were already creating like, amazing creations in it. And so uh, Notch made it a little bit better. He made it another thing. There was a couple original versions. There was like Minecraft and there was like uh, some other mind something it's called. But it was like almost exactly the same thing as Minecraft. And but it was not like a copy or a port or something like that. It was just really similar. But like Infiniminer. Infiniminer. And uh, Infiniminer was uh, another like very almost, you know, breaking out of the way uh, thing like Minecraft was. I think just Mojang just did it first. He's made it into something that was more publicly accessible, a little bit faster basically. with a giant winch? It seems like it's gonna close this gate and open it. Hey, stop that. Lay down some fire from you guys. I lack the need to chain lead. I don't want to close this gate. Go in here for a minute. I'll come back and open that. Just to see what it is. And look at a loom thing over there. Oh wait, back him. Oh wait. A lethal shrine? Ooh, and it's a real one too, not a cursed one. I like it. <laughs> Let's get in there and be lethal for a minute. Is it a ball and chain? Oh, it disappeared. I think I released a corpse from a ball and chain that was still uh, lashed to the ground. <laughs> and thanks again as usual for coming to join me, both you and John. Or Jun. Sorry, I keep saying it wrong. <laughs> Plus one. Ooh, I get an extra potion charge. Fifty. That is super cool. All right, where are we? So I just want to. There is a thing near the gate. So I do have to activate the, this thing over here. So that's what I'm gonna. I just want to open it. Cool. So now I get five potions available to me. That's nice. That was the thing. I know you could upgrade the potions themselves. I didn't know you could actually get. All right, let's winch this winch. Hey, get out of it. There we go. It's just gonna keep on going. Basically, I just grabbed that shrine and ran, so let's just see if there's any stuff hanging around. I don't think there is. Random pile of gold, and that's it. That armor thing. I'm in a rudimentary wand. I 
can't save it. Okay, now we're out of here. Scrap. Ooh, if I get something that, that increases the amount of zaps that I can do with that, that would be cool. I could teleport all over the place. Ow. Okay, so I pulled open one winch and that's to do this one. Gotcha. You gotta have a good aim with that thing too, though. I'm trying to put it in front of me, and I put it both in behind me. That's right. I have to remember to use the cold blast to restore my mana. Flame to wait. It's there. Flame to kill is to restore. And the flame is actually also restoring my health. So I remember to switch back and forth between them. Shivering skeleton. Yeah, see? Nice. And I can blast with lightning between. Give him one of those. Burlined hood. Help oh, keep the hydra. Wait. Yeah, and the intelligence. Definitely keep We're up to 19 and climbing here. We're almost there. <clears throat> Probably get to level 20 in this, uh, in this dungeon right here, actually. Hey. It's nice that the fire doesn't actually hurt you this time. I think in the first Diablo, when you did the, uh, the fire uh, walls, it actually hurt you too. You have, to, you have to be careful of your own firewall. Which is not bad, I mean, you just had to be a little bit more careful. But it was just a, you know, thing you don't have to avoid anymore. Let's go around over here. This thing. No? Oh. Looks like I'm actually trying to crank it. It's like getting stuck in the gears over here. It's good, though. This game reminds me a lot <clears> of <throat> the, the, the gameplay and the style of Heretic 2. Like, the very first Heretic was like a Doom-like game. It's a first-person shooter. Heretic 2 was much more open-world and, like, um, like, it was, what do they call it, isometric, where you're kind of following behind the person, but it's still first-person, basically. I, I don't know what that one's called. It was like, it was like a three-dimensional Zelda at, uh, with, um, like, Prince of Persia elements in it, basically. A lot of different stuff. It was a really good game. I still have an ISO of it somewhere. That would be a cool game to play online, or to play with everybody else here. If I could do, oh, that would be actually really cool, because that's one of my absolute favorite games, and it's a hard to get and a hard to see game, so people that want to know about it would, would only be able to go find it in certain places. That's actually a great idea. I've got to really uh, try to make Heretic 2 work as a game that I could play online here. It's great. I'm not zapping again. I said zapping again.
Oh, was that a spirit barrel? That's interesting. You know, I have the explosive barrels and stuff like that. Apparently that barrel was full of spirits. So when it explodes, it shot like spirit balls out of it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the spirits really liked that spirit barrel. It was probably full of rum, right? Spirits. <laughs> That'd be a funny thing to have, like, in a wizard's, uh, you know, laboratory. You have, like, a, a jar that's labeled spirits, and, like, there's little things swirling around inside or moaning. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, on, on the shelves, like, oh, those are their chemical stuff, you know, they have, like, alcohol, denaturated, uh, you know, uh, whatever, and this, uh, this chelated thing, and then, at the very end, spirits. You open it up. <laughs> Purgatory in a can, right? <laughs> Well, you never know, they might have wanted to be in there. Like I said, maybe those were the drunk spirits. They wanted to go in the spirit bottle, because, you know, it, like, it all fit together. They wanted to drink together in the spirits. <laughs> Let's see, where am I? Where am I? I'm going back to the main cabin. Maybe they were spiritual spirits. It was all the monks, you know? Uh, hanging out in the, in the one jar. <laughs> He's doing it again. And me. That's not too bad. Cool. The haunted cell block. I think I'm getting close. Finding more locked doors. This is where the soulless child didn't escape from. See a lot of red on the map too. Let's see, let's go over here. Let's go to firewall on this thing. Smash and attack. Go here. Nose. Out of that acid stuff. Smashy, smashy. Ow! Sit, stay out of the acid stuff. That guy. Grab that. Yeah. That. That. Zap it here, blast those guns. Let's go this way first. So you can cast it at a distance too. Loose stone for nothing. First one. And the second one. Big chest. Hey, big cursed chest. Get you guys. This way. This way. Just stand right here in the middle of it. Come on, come on down. Burn. And freeze. And then burn. And then freeze. And then burn. And then freeze. And then take some lightning. And then burn it and freeze. <laughs> Zap it. And burn it and freeze. And then freeze. Zap it, zap it, zap it, zap it. And then burn. Zap it, zap it, zap it, zap it. And then burn. <laughs> and then freeze. And then burn. Thanks a lot of these guys. And burn them again. <laughs> Open the potion. And then jump over here. And burn. <laughs> burn again. Burn again. Burn again. Burn again. Burn again. Burn 
that's it. Whoa, didn't bring this guy. I'm not ready yet. Alright, just finish him off. Thank you. Stop with the not having any mana. Thank you. Else? <laughs> Take this simple dagger. Throw it on the ground. <laughs> What am I losing now? Tap it, wrong button. I think I want to use it. I'm not using the fireball anyway. Just dexterity and three stars versus dexterity, lucky chance. Incinerate. Ooh, incinerate. I haven't used incinerate yet. I like the freeze bonus too. I definitely like that a lot. Fiend folio and a keepsake. What is a keepsake? I don't know if that's part of the quest. Die, skeleton, axe, corpse. Get your axe out of here. Almost there. Almost to 20. And we'll see what that little bonus cool stuff is. Ooh, an Iron Maiden with a gnarled staff and dude inside. <laughs> that staff. There we go. Wars. The gold stuff. I don't have one yet. Ooh, I do like that probably. Nice, I finally got a gold, uh, yeah, a rare quality one from everything. Nice. Fire resistance, light resistance, cool. This one, intelligence. And it does the Hydra too, but I'm not doing the Hydra right now. This one, let's see what it actually looks like on his head. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Can I zoom in on that real quick? <laughs> Social. <laughs> He's got like a um, like a rabbit on his head. <laughs> uh, so I don't want to keep this one or not. Hydra, healing, see intelligence. I think it'd be more intelligent to use that one. You like the fur hat? Get the little, the two little rabbit ear things and the, the skull on the front. I guess actually, no, the skull has a beak, doesn't it? So maybe it's like a raven. Maybe it's supposed to be feathers. I just think it's funny looking. <laughs> oh, wait, you know what? It actually kind of looks like me if I had white hair. <laughs> Alright, I'll wear it for now. Ooh, and that keepsake actually does more damage, but only a little bit. I like the other powers it has. Let's sort this stuff out real quick. Switch back to this one for a while. It's the thorn damage. No, I, I'm liking this combination better. I definitely like the extra the extra lightning bolts. The lightning bolts is good. We got a lot of people here to go lightning too. Well, let's see. Okay, let's just clear these guys out before I come back in down to this side. Grandma walking around now. <laughs> Come here, Sonny. Let me cast a spell at you. <laughs> Make 
making me run all this distance, damn it. Come here, you little ghost. You little, you little brat. Come all this way just to get you out of this crazy asylum. Come on. Why do you make me wander around like this? You know I got a bad hip. Ah. I got my cookbook here. I'm ready to go home and make some pancakes. <laughs> Who's trying? <clears throat> Faith against the darkness. It's just what she needs. See? <laughs> I'm here whipping these people. Can you, can you come out, kid? It's not fun. Can we go home now? I got good. <laughs> Whip you with my spatula. Yeah. Ha. I have pancake batter all over your face. Ooh, that's an interesting looking door. Zep. Zep. Please. Fire. Fire, fire, step, and step, freeze. Oh, ow. Hurt. Oh, it's the poison guy again. the poison guy. See, that's the one thing I lost from that other weapon. Or, the, not the weapon, the armor. No, no, it's the amulet. The amulet had the other poison stuff. The poison resist. Bleh. A ruined band. Poison, cold resistance, poison resistance, lightning damage. Firewall. Sorcerer rumbling armor. I oh, like the pants I got on. I'm trying to get, uh, what's it called? Epic everything here. Or legendary. Got almost legendary. Close, getting close. Hey, we're at level 20 now. Woohoo! Did I get some kind of special thing? Should have given me. I mean, something like in the, uh, the the cosmetic stuff or something like that. Because supposedly, when you get to level twenty, did it pop up in the thing and I didn't see it? Did it, like did it tell me a bonus and I didn't, and I didn't notice? <laughs> Untitled claim. That pick up the gloves from inside the thing. Zoom walls, quest, aspect. I didn't know actually all this was here. Nice, I can actually see the direct damage per second when I change stuff out. I'm looking for that actually. Cool. Monster parts. Salvage. Oh. I can actually see it all individually. Okay, it's not there, it's not there. <clears throat> I do have another ability for my skill tree. I can do that real quick. Also mobilized. Yeah, so you got the immobilized one and the, the bonus to the immobilized. I like that. Okay, onwards. Onwards, Grandma! Oh, now it's a nice, respectful 5 a.m. in the morning. You have a good sleep. Thanks for coming to visit me. I really appreciate it. You are too kind. Thank you. Hope you have sweet dreams. Yeah, blue thing.
then, yeah, I gotta check and see now, because I've gotten to level 20. I wonder if it has to be level 20 in a hardcore character. I don't think it said that, but maybe it is. You know, there's always some kind of, you know, special extra bonus challenge thing to make you go through. Come on. That's all cleared, that's all cleared, so now I'm just gonna go up to the little pathway up there. Right by, we'll make sure. Stop. Breakable jump to go. Cowls. All right, we're getting into the boss battle now. Ooh, so I would get a gem crafting and put the other stuff in there too. It's good. Well, there he is, the first one. Bear Razor. 9%. He reached level 12. 3 hours and 46 minutes doing him. Total gold. Slain by the Den Mother. That's good. I want to find where he was. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Early experience. Lethal 20. Early beta. Skeleton Slayer. That should have some kind of, you know, board thing attached to it. Like, it has a little treasure chest thing, I don't know what... There's no other things in click. And there's so much stuff to do. Is it string? There's one more quest, that's the thing. Let me see real quick. Gotta look it up. Gotta look it up. Wait, actually, it's right there in the battle net. Thing. There we are. Battle net. <clears throat> are the rewards? <laughs> Just want to see what it says. Oh, there's a place that said it. Oh, I'll find it later. And it shows that it did this part at least, so hopefully I get whatever the reward thing was from it. <laughs> I think it was like a, a thing you wear on your back and it's got, a, it's got a puppy in it. I thought that would be cool for the druid. Room of Torment. Oh, boss time, huh? I wonder if this is the kid, like it was with the other one. Ouch. Let's keep him in the fire and not worry about it.
I am fine. Oh, stop that! <laughs> now you start shooting it when I'm not away when I'm not next to him anymore. Man, what's up, kitten? You hear me? Fighting things over here and you're wondering what's going on. Stop kidding me. Got a hairball? <clears throat> we talked a little bit yesterday too. Got a hairball. I cannot carry more. Yes, you can. A skull. It's another gem fragment type thing. Rude lesser one. Bye. Dirty tunic. Hello. Shadow resistance lightning damage. I like lightning damage. Switch that one out. Well, this one has 12 to intelligence. Oh, wait. Actually, I can check that, right? There's that. Actually do it at the same time? Probably not. They wouldn't let me do that, will they? And abilities, where is in the character tab? This one. When they have the little extra tab thing. I can't find it. Okay. All right, I'll find it later. I cannot carry more. All right, we're onwards to. Oh. Now we're at level twenty. We got the bonuses. Oh, maybe that's what I should, what I should do then. I stop playing this one. I should switch back over to the hardcore druid. Ooh, now that I already made the the bonus level on this one, mm -hmm. it will. Uh, give grandma here a break. <laughs> And get out. Yeah, that's actually an interesting idea. What if I planned it out to only go through half of the dungeon on the way into the boss and work my way out through the other half of the dungeon on the way out of the boss? Probably could do that. Follow the left hand path on the way in, follow the right hand path on the way out. That'll probably work. But let's go for that. Yeah, I'm getting some jittery stuff going on here. It's making this hard for me to walk. Hold on a second. We're getting some weird stuff going on. Yeah, for some reason the GP is maxed out here, and it shouldn't be.
Okay, I've got it in the lowest settings now. See, now, now I don't know what's going on. I've got it in the lowest settings. It's not doing the thing over here. Stop the recording. Now we're still streaming, but just not, I'm not recording in the background any longer. <clears throat> See, that gives it any boost. Because we've already done enough of this stuff in, a, in the actual recording part where I can have transfer over. If I absolutely have to go back and make a, a VOD video of some part of this, then I want to transfer. And, but yeah, still 99% here, 9999. Something's wrong here. But before it went down to where it should be, it stayed there. Now it's not doing it. Good time to take a break anyway. It's, we've been here about an hour and a half. I did make it to level 20. I do kind of want to go back and try to finish out my... Oh yeah, I'm jumping around in the game all over the place here. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to have to take a quick break here. Unfortunately, end the stream, do a little troubleshooting, because now I'm at the settings where it should be doing it perfectly, and I'm still getting some weird stuff going on. I, I got a great feed on my thing, but the game is now going all funky. It could be the game. It it's still in beta, obviously. So it's a good time for me to exit Diablo 2, leave this guy right here, and say hello, goodbye, and I'll see you again pretty soon, because I'm going to come right back and do some random Razor gaming here. I think I'm going to jump in with the Druid. And um, keep doing that one because that's the hardcore character. This is my regular character, so now I'm going with the hardcore one and make it into see if I can get it to level 20 before it's all over here. So if you're uh, you're liking what I'm doing and you you want to see some more of it, leave a follow, leave a like, leave a subscribe, do a tip, do a give me do do all that stuff. Uh, I really appreciate everything that you do. Every every time that you're here, it makes my life even better. So thanks for coming to watch. I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm gonna have some more fun. I hope you have some fun with me. See you next time. Or I'll see you soon, actually.